Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot. Bringing another Madden 18 Money Play video. We're using the Ravens Playbook today. If you guys have been following my channel since last year, you know that I'm all about the Ravens Playbook. I used the Ravens Playbook so much last year. It's probably my most used book. Uh, definitely in gameplay. I'm not sure if I used it the most in putting out videos to you guys, but it was definitely the one that I used personally the most. Uh, and it's probably one of the most used videos for videos that I use. It was that and the Cowboys. I mean, the Cowboys was definitely up there. Maybe the Chiefs, because uh, I had a lot of plays that held over from the year before. But either way, I'm all about the Ravens playbook. And I'm really excited to the, for the fact that the Ravens playbook looks like one of the better playbooks this year. So uh, they added some things. Uh, I found some really good plays and some really good formations. They have the Gun Monster stack, which I already recorded. So if you guys want to see that next, hit the like button. I'll put that out next. Um, but that's a really interesting formation. I definitely run it a little bit different uh, than some of the... There's only three plays in it, but I definitely run them differently than how they're designed. Um, so, almost to a, a cheesy extent. But either way, uh, I'm going to show you some plays today. Uh, like I was saying, out of the out of the Ravens playbook. I, I kind of want to stick to one playbook early on and, and flush it out. Because I think that a lot of people that play might, might want uh, one playbook. But I'm basically going to be running a couple plays out of the week. Uh, I don't think it's the week pro. I think it's yeah, the week close flex, which is a formation I used a little bit last year. Um, but it was kind of late in the season. And I don't really think a lot of people saw some of the videos I put out of this formation. But uh, either way, I came in here looking for a toss play, which was one of my favorite plays last year. And I couldn't find it. But the play that I did found that was really uh, unique and really outstanding um, was something similar in vain, but it's a much better blocking uh, play, is the halfback counter weak. Like I said, the toss play was kind of similar, and it went in the same direction, but it didn't have pulling linemen like this one does. So this one here is definitely a good-looking play, and I'm going to go ahead and show you that. It's a very explosive play. Counter plays were really big last year. And I think they're going to be really big this year again. So there's nothing really to change. As you see, I run it. The first play, they're not too great. I wasn't, last year when I ran plays, if you guys don't know, I always use the teams uh, of the playbook that I'm uh, that I'm running. And last year, I hated using the Ravens in the playbooks videos uh, because the running backs were terrible. So I don't know what the deal is uh, with this guy. I think it's Terrence West. Um, I, I'm pretty sure he was pretty bad last year, but this year he is just, he just feels, you know, like a monster. So like I said, I don't know if he's a better player now or if it's just this game is so slanted towards offense because it really feels that way. As you're seeing, you bust some really big runs here early on, but you can see that there's nobody even really near me. Uh, for a good five to ten yards, I mean, and then it gets to a point where I have to make somebody miss. Like this here, I mean, that's just outstanding blocking. Um, you know, there's just there was just nobody there until about twenty yards down the field. So this counter play is definitely uh, a very dynamic counter play. They're really, I want to say, the counter play is back in a big way. There, I didn't even make the right read. I should have ran up behind the guy. Uh, but then look at the juke moves. I mean, this this Madden is all about run plays, and that's why I'm putting out run plays early on because the the even backs that aren't that great, like Terrence West right here, just looks like a monster and just handles like a dream. He's just smooth as silk. I don't even I don't even get it how these plays are so crazy. So um, you know that's the first play. The only thing I can really say is just make sure you have some good blockers out there, uh, especially at your fullback position number 44. I didn't really change anything. I just kind of ran it. Uh, but make sure you got your best blocking fullback there because he's really important to the point of attack. Look how long those blocks were held up to the point where I could just sneak in behind him. And that's crazy. So let's go ahead. Let's move on uh, to the next play. <clears throat> the next play I got here is a, I'm going to show a, a passing play. Obviously, I want to show, um, you know, I don't want to just go all run plays. I, I, I like to give you guys schemes. I like to give you guys diversity. You can't be one-dimensional. You have to be able to do a little bit of everything. And the, and the next play I'm going to show, which to me is one of the best passing plays in the game last year as well as this year, uh, is the PA cross F wheel at the top there. Uh, as you see, I'm still kind of going through the plays because this is basically me labbing, uh, live labbing on Twitch. If you guys want to see that, check me out. In the description, you can you can follow me on Twitch and then see when I when I do this stuff. I mean, this is a little bit different than when I normally do it, but uh, but basically the only adjustment you're going to make on this play is uh, you're just going to put the A route, which is the tight end, on a slant, and that's it. Now, when I ran this last year, what I did uh, typically was I I would motion the fullback to the line of scrimmage. It doesn't let me do it anymore, which really sucks because that was like a really glitchy way to run it. The the fullback could get a huge speed burst and it was just wide open immediately. I swear EA watches my videos and basically just like fixes everything that I break. 
uh, because I pretty much most of the stuff that I put out this year, they really changed. So if you're watching EA, you're welcome for me pointing out all the bugs in your game. So why don't you invite me out to EA Studios next year if you're watching this because you really jipped me. So there we go. The first play, throw the tight end. I'm not going to throw the tight end very much because I feel like one of the things that they really uh, worked on this year was the tight ends uh, really get covered well. Um, they're really kind of forcing your hand to throw to the receivers. At least that's my, been my experience. I really feel like when the tight end goes over the middle, it essentially gets double teamed quite a bit. But that's what makes this play so perfect. These, these plays are all about the receivers. These are all about the two receivers going deep. And they're both really, uh, they both get open really a lot. I don't know if it's because uh, Mike Wallace here is such a monster this year, uh, but he has, you know, just he's just scoring at will. And Bashad Perriman's also really fast too, so these guys with their huge speed advantages really look good. If it's a man coverage like it is here, both of these guys are going to be open. I mean, those both of those routes are just torturing. Uh, they're going to torture man coverage, which is most things do in this game this year. The only thing I really think that they improve as far as coverage, like I said, is the, is the zones over the middle. Uh, but even then, if you flood the middle, it seems like they improve the zones only to the tight end. It doesn't feel like they improve the zones towards the receivers. You can see my, my receivers are getting wide open over the middle. Here's another. I could have went either way there. Uh, I went short because obviously that safety was over top of the of, of a pyramid. So uh, man covers the safest bet is going to be uh, Wallace's route, the B route. Um, the fullback's really good too. I didn't do what I typically would do is if you hit RB and manually sub a running back there, that's what I would typically do. I don't know if Madden changed you, your ability to do that or not, but that's really, I really doubt it. I don't think they would change something like that, but that's really the best way to go for that fullback. You can see he got a nice big catch and run there, but if it was like a 90 speed halfback or something, it probably could have, would have been a touchdown and you'll get open a lot more as well. So make sure you do that with the fullback. Uh, on this play and the next play that I show you, it, it, any pass play really, it's best to put a, a receiving halfback at the fullback position and hope your opponent doesn't really notice because it could be a, good, a, a little bit of a giveaway. But either way, uh, we're just going to run this a couple more times. I didn't really explain the reprogression to this play, which I think is kind of important. Your reprogression is always going to be tight end first. Like right there, I could have hit A, but everybody was open. So it kind of, you know, I, I'm getting so used to throwing all these deep receivers. But the tight end, if the tight end's there, you typically want to take it because it will open the fastest. Now, after that, your reprogression really just goes backwards like a ladder. It just goes from B, which is Wallace, who you're seeing score a bunch of times, to the X route. Uh, which is, you know, you're, you're probably your second read. If it's a cover two, the X route's definitely going to be a read as well. Um, but, you know, everybody's essentially open there. So the next play I want to show uh, is the mesh. Now, the mesh, um, better known as the mesh double drags, which is the top there, uh, that's, that plays in a lot of formations. It's really successful in this formation. I do find that they changed the, um, the, the coverages for double drags a little bit this year. A lot of people were worried that when they heard they got rid of cross man, that that would just, there wouldn't be a counter for it. But running this play, I do realize that the um, the cross Manning isn't doesn't really see feel necessary. As you see here, the first play, I throw it to the uh, drag route. And he still gets about 10 yards, which is definitely going to be deadly. But if you watch the way the linebackers cover, they're kind of they kind of play down because there's nobody pulling them back. Um, it, it just it just seems like they cover a little bit better. They don't seem as open uh, anyway. But the the real read to this play is the B route. For whatever reason, if there's a linebacker on the field, they don't cover receivers well at all. Um, that's something that I think that they tried to give an advantage uh, to the to the offense in that regard because you can see that there's it almost seems like the receiver is open, but then once the ball is thrown, I don't know if it's the speed of the receiver, but these outside routes just really seem to murder uh, most coverages right now. The outside zones really feel weak. Uh, the fullback's a good route too, as you see me check it down there once again. Um, if I would have had a running back in there, it would have been a much bigger play. Um, but that's, uh, you know, I'll take that. He would have been open there again too. But this this deeper route, for whatever reason, I don't know if what they're running. I'm not really paying attention. But, um, you know, if it's a cover two, that's a really good route. Here is actually a cover three, and he's in coverage. But this year receivers are just holding on to the ball so well. I mean, that route is just, it's just murdering just about everything. Um, everything it sees, uh, the the wide route would have been good there, but look at that. I don't like it, looks almost like they're covered, and then he just the separation's there and he's gone, um, which is uh ridiculous. So, um, that's why I'm spamming it to that outside X route, but that's just the way the coverages are this year. I mean, and everybody seems to notice. I've seen other YouTubers mention it, um, where they basically are just like, Look, this is these outside zones aren't covering either of the options, so uh, I'm gonna take the bigger one until they figure it out. Um, so down the line, if they patch that. That might be something that, uh, you know, this this play changes. But uh, this, the reads are always going to be that they're still going to be the fullback or the, or the double drags. Another good way uh, to make the double drag a little bit better is to motion out the running back and uh, send them on a deep route. And that will basically open up the underneath a little bit better. I didn't throw to him there. 
um, but it'll typically uh, do you do you some service against cover threes and cover twos if you if you're pulling back, um, which this is your classic mesh double drag uh, setup. As you see, I hit the X. Uh, not quite the you know speed advantage I was expecting for Prashad Perriman to get, but you see that's still my biggest play to date as far as the mesh drags uh, or the drag routes go. The drag routes don't really run like they did last year. Um, if you watch the A route, I know maybe it's because it's the tight end, but it just kind of seems a little herky-jerky more than normal. It's not as smooth. And like I said, I don't know if that's because I just don't have the most athletic tight end. Uh, as you see, I hit him there. Uh, I'm just getting a full blitz, a full house blitz, so I got to get it out. Uh, but basically, you know, I don't feel like the drag routes, uh, maybe, maybe I just need a better athlete, but they don't feel as smooth. Uh, but either way, uh, but either way, these are three plays. Uh, I'm going to pretty much uh, wrap up the video uh, after that. Uh, but three good pass plays. I'm not pass plays. Two good pass plays, one really good run play. That's, you know, I typically lead, lead off with the best play. I mean, that pass play uh, was to a point where I was just pitching and catching with the defense. Uh, really couldn't do anything. So uh, a really good pass play and a really good run play. And then this one here is just, you know, your typical uh, mesh double drag. So that's it. If you guys want to see more Ravens, like I said, hit the like button. I got another video already made. And I'll put that out next. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Moist it out.